Yeah, he had, he had took, took and he took all her things with him. I have one pair of gold earrings that was on her body when she died. Grandma took out her ears and said, Tanya, I want to give these to you. Brenda would have wanted you to have them. Then I took them and I still have them. I haven't worn them yet. I'm going to get them re-cleaned and stuff. They're put up in a little box. And I have a picture of her as well. And I love her so much. But you see how it played out? But oh, it's not done. You see, he moved down south with his wife, his real wife, that he has kids with. The woman that she was on the phone talking to and sending packages to, all this time, he had told her that was his sister, that was his wife. So to take and get things together of the story of how my aunt was killed, I'm thinking that he called his wife down south and he told her, hey, I married this other chick up here in Ohio and I want you to know she about to come into some money and we're going to be rich. So I'm thinking together, they said, well, you need to kill that whole or that bitch or whatever and, and we can cash in. And that's exactly what happened. He killed her. He killed my aunt. But she put her life and love and heart on the line and, and went against her own blood, me and my innocent little children. She loved him so much, she was sleeping with the devil and didn't even know it. And you can be sleeping with the devil and don't even know it. He took her life because he knew once they married and when she got that money, he knew. I, I think he planned it way ahead of time because he knew that she was near getting that money. Well, as soon as she died, she got that money. But she never seen a penny. And why? Because the stubbornness, the, the evilness and the hurtfulness she gave to her first husband. She didn't forgive him on her on his dying bed. So she wasn't forgiven either. The devil took her life. Greed and money and all of these things you can't take with you when you die. You can be high and mighty and you can be worldly thought and not even give God a look. But you know what? You got to die one day. We all do. And when somebody's asking you on their deathbed, which is that's all they got is their words. They ain't got nothing else to give pleading for their last breath to forgive me. You better forgive them. Because if you don't forgive them, God ain't going to forgive you either. And you better know some sins that you done took and you commit. They're going to have to have payment for it too. You got to lay down and die one day. And the thing is, I hope your heart is right with the Lord. This is no way a perfect story. And ain't nobody got a perfect ending. Not these days. Because we're living in our last days. And this stuff shouldn't have never happened to me, my aunt, my children, nobody. But you know what? He took that money. He cashed it out. He had a nice car. He brought up his family. And they, they invaded my aunt's house and took all her stuff and her jewelry and things. Didn't look back at the family to get us, give us nothing. He dogged us, you know. My granny's heart, still heavy from it. My heart sometimes linger on it, on it. But I'm slowly letting go. I'm slowly letting go of this because I got to. I mean, I wanted to get this story out here. And I wanted it to show somebody that you, you can't be like that. And people, they call me crazy. They can call me anything they want to. I'm a child of God, regardless of what anybody thinks of me. And this story is real and true. And you ain't got to believe me. But you wasn't there. You didn't, live, you didn't live out the situation. You didn't live out the moment of it. You don't know how, how confused and hurt and, and, and broken and, and bitter and, and sad and alone and, and disheartening it was to me to go through all of this. You have no idea. You can never judge a book by its cover. You don't never know nobody's heart, nobody's true feelings. 
and a snake will take and just be be a disguise as anything. It can be pretend to love you just to get what they want from you. And that's exactly what he was to my aunt. But she loved him. She loved him more than she loved me. Or her boys, for that matter. And I'll be back.